Welcome to drumsandbeats.com. Today we're going to explore the audio and MIDI uh, settings pane in Machine. So I'm just going to go over here, um, audio MIDI settings, it's under file if you're using a Mac. And, and it should be the same in Windows, uh, something similar. Okay, so uh, you're first greeted with the basic audio settings. So select your audio driver. Uh, if you have third-party ones, um, just click whatever sound uh, whatever sound driver or sound card you're using, and then your uh, device. So you might have um, different uh, sound cards, maybe an external one, or you're using um, virtual uh, sounds or aggregate devices. Um, I'm using an M Audio Fast Track here to record the audio um, with through a mic, um, and then sample rate. I usually just leave it at 44 100, um, and then the latency. I try to get as low as possible without um, the audio crackling. Now, if you go too low, it, the audio starts crackling, and that depends on your sound card. If it's a high end one and you're driver is really fast then of course you can put the latency down the MIDI latency and um, you'll have to play around with this and see what works for you okay um, I usually put it down about about here 20 20 milliseconds and and I find that works well for my beats anything like above anything above like 50 200 milliseconds and you really notice it when you uh, when you hit on the pads that it, it feels weird it's a delay and it's really hard to create beats when there's a delay there so try to play around and find the lowest possible latency without it without your sound card dying on you <laughs> all right routing here you can route uh, the machine channels to different places uh, it usually goes to the default um, uh, device and of course your MIDI inputs and outputs. Um, if you're not getting any MIDI signals, uh, usually you would check here and you can turn off and on your uh, MIDI devices. I'm using uh, USB keyboard here, MIDI keyboard, and make sure they're all on here. And same with your outputs. If you're if you want your outputs to go to an external MIDI device, same thing here. And you can select your clock offset if you want to synchronize. Uh, the two devices.